Step 1. Fasten the wide Velcro strap tightly around the extremity at least 2 to 3 inches above the bleeding site. The strap should be fastened tight enough that your fingers cannot slide between skin and the strap. Step 2. Turn the handle clockwise until the bleeding stops. Step 3. Turn the locking tab marked with a 3 180 degrees clockwise to lock the handle. Mark the time on the space provided on the end of the strap. Precision Trauma, the leader in critical bleeding control solutions, introduces Tourniquet, a new tool in the fight to save lives. Tourniquet is a new bleeding control device that makes life-saving bleeding control technology easy to use for civilians and first responders. If you or someone you are assisting has a serious bleeding injury, stay calm and follow the simple bleeding control procedure. First, have someone call 911 to get help on the way while you assist the injured person. Then assess the injury. Is there blood pooling under or spurting from the wound? If so, this can indicate a life-threatening bleed. Immediate action is required as the patient can bleed out in minutes. From your bleeding control kit, pack the wound fully and tightly with a wound packing gauze. Maintain firm direct pressure. Then apply a pressure dressing and hold firmly in place while using constant direct pressure. If the bleeding does not stop, it is time to apply the tourniquet above the wound. Remove the tourniquet from the box and loosen hook and loop strap. Step 1. Fasten the wide Velcro strap tightly around the extremity at least 2 to 3 inches above the bleeding site. The strap should be fastened tight enough that your fingers cannot slide between skin and the strap. If possible, the tourniquet should be placed directly over skin. If it is placed over clothing, ensure there are no solid objects, like a wallet or phone. Do not place the tourniquet over a joint. When in doubt, place it as high and tight on the injured limb as possible. Step 2. Turn the handle clockwise until the bleeding stops. This should only take a few turns if the strap is tight. There should be no pulse or bleeding below the tourniquet. If bleeding continues, Check the strap, retighten, and apply a second tourniquet next to the first one if necessary. Step 3. Turn the locking tab marked with a 3 180 degrees clockwise to lock the handle. Mark the time on the space provided on the end of the strap. Continue to monitor the wound for bleeding and tighten the tourniquet further as necessary. Once the bleeding has been stopped, ensure emergency services are contacted and stay with the victim until help arrives. For more information, please visit tourniquet.com.